Hi everybody and uh, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Ultimate Racing League for race 2 of our Wednesday challenge in the Mini VGT and as promised we have got uh, the wet stuff falling from the sky we are out in Japan at the Suzuka circuit we are on the east course so it is just a short track uh, just over uh, 1.3 miles uh, a short 9 turns although very tricky turns as uh, seven of them are in the double s section as you can see in the top right hand corner but uh, as you can see by the screen it is um raining i nearly said something else it is raining and um raining heavily by the looks of it so what we will do is we're going to have a run down the grid we're going to start at the back and it's Kian, Kian who, who uh, for some reason had to retire from race one, but it, look, he's back on track, which is good to see. Um, but he is starting in the 11th position. Kastuin is 10th. Nath is 9th. Ninkinu 8th. Declan is 7th. Hodgy is 6th. Evil Knievel is 5th. 4th is Captain Slow. Stealth is 3rd. P. White 2nd. And after a great win in race one, Graham finds himself in pole position. And if you just look out of uh, Graham's windscreen, you can see just how wet it looks out there. So uh, let's get the right camera. The lights are on. It really does look wet, doesn't it? Let's get this race started. The guys will be either on full wet or intermediate tyres. We'll have a look at those as the race progresses. As uh, we get away, P. White looked like he had a bit of a wobble. But he has got the inside line down into turn one and uh, has managed to get his nose in front of Graham. Now let's just see if everybody gets through. Evil Knievel goes wide. It looks like that was Graham as well that's gone wide. Everybody's struggling to get around this, uh, around the turns. You can just see the little meter in the left-hand side next to the uh, clock. is uh, It's showing at halfway as Captain Slow goes off. Hodgie goes off. That, uh, that little meter is just showing how wet it is out there and uh, you can see the guys are really struggling Hodgie has found himself down in seventh Graham who was on pole position is in eighth let's go on board with Graham and just get a, a bit of a driver's eye view of what it uh, what it's like out there spray everywhere so you can barely see where you're going the cones are being smashed all over the place already. We can see Declan's picked up a half second penalty. We've got just behind us now then. Graham trying to make a move on Hodgie. He's going to have to go around the outside. Hodgie defending it on the inside line. It's getting it slowed down as Declan goes off. Looks like Ninky New and Nath. Everybody is oh, they're all over the place. Look, there are cars everywhere. <laughs> Well, let's just, uh, I'm going to go all the way to the back so we can get a proper view of what's happening. I'm in, well, we are following Captain Slow and we will try and see what's going on ahead. So this is Kian who goes to the inside. Let's just have a drop back. You can see Declan's gone off. It's, uh, who else has gone off? Ninky No, he's gone off. Ahead, Evil Knievel has gone off everybody it's just cars all over the place it is chaos as we thought it would be there was a bit of a touch there on uh, Castrian as he kept it on track he's struggling but he's managed to do it Ninky New and Castrian having a door bashing session it looked like Captain Slow wants to get involved he's telling them to get a move on having a bit of a bumper kiss there and I'm sure none of this is being done intentionally it's just the conditions are so bad out there I'm surprised the race officials actually let this uh, this go ahead, but uh, it is uh, makes for great viewing as Castuin gets a bit sideways. These cars obviously four-wheel drive, but uh, they really are struggling, aren't they? Well, let's go back up to our leader. P. White is out in front and uh, he is out of trouble, which is where you want to be. Stealth in second. These guys starting to pull a bit of a gap now and that's exactly where they want to be, out of the way. Now they've slowed right down so this could well be a safety car that's been called because we had more than, uh, well, 
more than two cars went off there. I think everybody went off. But it does look like a safety car because they have slowed down to let everybody catch up. Which is a bit of a shame for uh, P. White and Stealth because they really did get themselves out of the way and uh, out of trouble. But now everybody's going to bunch up. Now, I don't know where costume's going unless the safety car has been uh, called off. But he is managing to overtake everybody, which you're not allowed to do. And the other thing with the safety car, which I, I very rarely see, is uh, you are supposed to be at least a car's length apart. So a bit of a flash of the lights there from Stealth, and he's probably telling Castrian that uh, you can't overtake under a, a safety car. So I'm not quite sure what's going on then, and uh, if any of the guys racing can let me know in the comments, I would appreciate that. Uh, whether Castrian was uh, told to, uh, to go up to second, I'm not sure. But anyway, he overtook everybody. Well, it looked to me like he overtook everybody under the safety car, which you're really not allowed to do. Oji in fifth. Then we have Evil Knievel, Kian, still with us this time, the rain really hammering down. As we see Stealth, Evil Knievel, Kian, all battling away, Stealth down in seventh, now he was in second wasn't he? Behind P. White but he finds himself down in seventh and he's got Captain Slow all over the back of him. We are not even five minutes into this race. Let's just have a look. You see the car sliding, Kian struggling to keep it under control. Does so though. Oh, that's Graham, I think. That is Graham that's gone off. Let me see if I can find him. It was Graham. Let's just have a look. So down towards turn one. Oh, you need to be braking much sooner than that. And that's what's caused that uh, miss up there. The back wheel's onto the AstroTurf. And that's, uh, I don't know why he spun around. <laughs> Graham's just gone round. I think it's the conditions. It's not like Graham to go off the track like he did. Oh, dear. And then pulls out into traffic. <laughs> it's, it's all happening today. It is all happening today. Nath struggling to keep it on track. The rain is still battering down. So P. White has managed to pull away again and uh, is staying out of trouble. The traction control, I'm sure, is going to be turned right up to maximum to try and help with these cars. Hodgie finds himself in second. Then we've got Evil Knievel. He's under a challenge from Kian. Let's just follow these two down towards turn one. Stealth just sitting behind, waiting for these two to crash into each other, I'm sure. Evil Knievel managing to keep that car under control as they enter this double S section. Stealth is trying to find a way through. Evil Knievel's car twitching all over the place. In fact, let's go on board with Evil Knievel as we're chasing Hodgie. Kian right behind us. Just trying to keep it under control. We don't want to be going too wide and it looks like Evil Knievel has he got? No, he's managed to hold on to it. Now then, this is where it gets interesting. As they go across the start finish line, just looking for the grip, Kian has pulled to the inside, now is that because he's looking for the extra grip or is he just trying to stay out of the way of the guys behind him and then trying to defend his line at the same time, Evil Knievel looks like he's getting closer to Hodgie, Stealth has made a move on Kian and got through, Captain Slow is trying to follow him. Now Stealth onto the back of Evil Knievel. This part of the uh, track is very difficult to overtake on. 
you just have to sort of sit there, wait for the guy in front to make a mistake. Or if you can get close enough, you can uh, get in the slipstream as they go down the straight, the home straight, towards turn one and try and get the move done before you get there. We are just approaching the eight minute mark, so uh, nine, eight, seven, get there in a minute, I can count, seven minutes left. Evil can evil down into turn one. Keeping it on track, that's a good line from Evil Knievel. Hodgy is trying to defend his position. Oh, and it looks like uh, Captain Slow's gone off. He went off, picked up a penalty. Kean has done it. Him and followed him. So Kean with a penalty, Castrian in seven. Then we've got Declan, Ninkinu, Nath, and Graham, and Graham just going by Nath to take up that 10th uh, position. Graham, if you remember, started on pole position, but then had a bit of a nightmare coming out of turn one. So this race really proving to be a problem for most of the guys out there. The only one who seems to have, uh, oh, I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say the only one who seems to be coping with it is P. White, just as he's at the back end of his car decided to come round. He is sliding all over the place, they just cannot find any grip. So let's have a look at the tyres, shall we? P. White's on the intermediates, as is Hodgie, in fact. Let's just go down and see if we can find anybody who's gone with wet. Castrian has, Castrian's gone with full wet. But he doesn't seem to be coping any better than the guys on the intermediates. And that is the rest of the field. So Castro and the only one on wet. But as I say, he just doesn't seem to be coping any better. So uh, maybe he's just too wet out there. Too white though with uh, a very healthy lead. And it feels like it's uh, as only P. White can mess it up for himself. He's just got to keep it on track. I don't want to curse it. So ten minutes gone. We've got five minutes left. Hodgy coming under pressure from Evil Can Evil. We know how good Hodgy is at uh, defending. So Evil Can Evil, if he, if he wants that second podium spot from Hodgy, he's got a bit of work to do. best thing you can do is just stick with it and hope that Hodgy makes a mistake and opens the door for, uh, for you. Doesn't happen very often. Stealth, you can see he's, uh, he's, got, oh, he's got a one second penalty of Stealth and you can see the bar filling up. As we go around turn nine onto the start finish straight and just as you uh, exit turn nine that's where the penalty zone is. It's not affected his track position though. Still, still out in fourth. Then we've got Captain Slow. Everybody's settled down a little bit now. Castrian, Declan, Kean. Graham make his way up to ninth. He's on a bit of a mission, isn't he? But it's up late. Then we've got. Ninky New, oh Ninky New, he's on that Astra turf, you want to get yourself off of there. Which he does, back onto the track. Nath in 11th. So P. White is just going to uh, cruise home I think. As is Hodgy, although he's got Evil Knievel. Getting closer and closer. We are now coming up. We have three minutes left. So about another four laps. Oh, as Hodgy has gone wide, and that's what I was on about. Opening the door. And Hodgy goes wide. Evil can evil. Steps through it. 
let's just go back and see it from Evil Knievel's point of view as we're going down the start finish straight towards turn one. Uh, did Hodgie just break very late? I think he did. I think he's just he's just left it too late to break and just couldn't get that car slowed down. Hodgie off into the kitty litter, back on track now, but it's too late. Evil Knievel's gone through. So Evil Knievel now has just got to try and nurse that car back. We have about two and a half minutes of uh, this race two to go. And I'm sure the guys cannot wait for this race to be finished. As Hodgie is now going to come under pressure from Stealth, and Stealth can actually sense maybe the third podium spot for him. Get some vital points back on the board. So let's just uh, follow these two down. The start, across the start finish, the start lap 13, down towards turn one. Now, oh, is Hodgie going to break a little bit earlier this time? He doesn't want to make the same mistake as he did last time, did he? Bit of a slide going on there, but well held. Stealth having a look around the outside. He is going to be on the inside if he can stay where he is. No, he's had to slot in behind Hodgie again. He's just going to keep the pressure on. They can just see Evil Knievel up ahead, but uh, I don't think they're going to get close enough to him. Stealth with the fastest lap again. This lap in race one, and he's got it in race two at the minute, a 101. That's about 11 seconds, so that's the difference between the dry and the wet. 11 seconds as Hodgie ooh, toying with the grass. Around turn nine, into the last minute. Still, still, still sitting there, putting Hodgie under pressure. We're gonna have to leave these and just drop down the order. We'll just see as they go into turn one. Hodgie still defending and defending well. Still looking for the cutback, but uh, I think Hodgie's gonna stay in front of you. So let's just go down the order, shall we? Captain Slow in fifth, then we've got Kean, then Castrian, Declan in eight, then we've got Nathan, Ninky Nu, and Graham, Graham back down in 11, so Graham must have had another moment, really not enjoying this, uh, this wet stuff, is Graham, after he's winning race one, seems to be struggling, our race leader though, P. White, so let's just have a look and see who is going to finish first. It could be Hodgie in third. The 15 minutes are up, and Hodgie does get third with Stealth coming in fourth. Captain Slow is going to cross the line to take fifth. Kean is going to get sixth. Castrian seventh. Declan eighth. Nath is going to take ninth. Ninky No, 10th, Graham 11th, so it will be P. White to take the win, he's just got to take his time around these last couple of turns, no heroics, just nurse that car back in these horrendous conditions, and he does, well done to P. White, he kept out of trouble, fantastic win for him. And Evil Knievel will come in in second. He'll be pleased with that, especially in these conditions. Well, thank you for joining me for race two. I will be back very shortly for race three.